A beloved bar in Pomeroy could soon shut down. The building says the building or the city rather says the building is structurally unsafe. But it is more than a bar. It's a well known music venue and many in town are determined to keep the music alive. In Pomeroy, Iowa sits a hidden gem where music meets color, color and love. Anybody that walks into this place is a friend of mine. Byron Stewart has owned Byron's Bar for 28 the years. A self-proclaimed so music right. lover who loves nothing more than a live show. Something about the being there, it's in the air, vibrations or whatever it is, it just, it just calms my soul. Posters, peace signs and tie-dye cover the walls and the tiny stage that brings in big names. Paul Nelson Band, unbelievable. He played with Johnny Winters and he just loves this place. He, just, he plays twice a year here. Byron's Bar has built an impressive national following, drawing hundreds of live performances over the years. People hear about me on the road and they call me up and say, we got this date open, can we play there? 73 live shows last year drew thousands of people, all with the same love of a live concert. It's magic. Byron's is a place where Community and music meet and they had this child and it's called Byron. While it's magic on the inside, Byron's bar is attached to a building that is falling apart on the outside. All the small towns now are worried about their buildings collapsing and they're going to be liable for them if anybody gets hit. Built in 1893, the walls are crumbling. That's why the city of Pomeroy recently sent Byron a letter deeming his business unsafe and dangerous. Not saving it is just not an option. Dave Hearn is part of a 22 person committee on a mission to save Byron's bar or move it to another location. We're trying to raise $100,000 to make sure that whatever Byron needs to do with the city we can get done. A GoFundMe is growing and Byron's supporters are rallying. I know I sit up here a lot and, and tears come to my eyes. I'm just so proud of this place. For Byron, it's not about the money. It's about making sure the notes keep playing. That's really what it is. It's the camaraderie. Uh, it's uh, and the music. Just, I just love the music. In Pomeroy, Laura Terrell, KCCI 8 News, I was news leader. And Byron has until April 9th to fix the building or buy another location. His supporters have organized a benefit concert on March 3rd at Phillips Auditorium in Fort Dodge.